In this video, we're going to take a look at the Graco Forever and converting it from forward-facing to rear-facing use in regard to the lower latch attachments. You can see they are currently routed through that orange belt path that is used for forward-facing, uh, also used there for booster mode use. To start, we're going to loosen the harness straps according to the instruction manual, and then raise the head restraint to get easier access to the harness system and belt path. And then we're going to unsnap the seat pad to expose all of the internal components and belt path. And then you can see the latch strap routed there. We're going to pull the two latch connectors out of the forward facing belt path. That's the orange labeled belt path on the outside. And then we're going to slide them along that metal bar toward the front of the car seat. You can see that sliding down on that bar. You have to make sure to get everything clear and in front of all of the harness components and the crotch strap. Let's see if I can get a better view there. If you're not looking or you haven't pulled that cover all the way forward, you might be inclined to route this behind the crotch strap or behind the harness straps. So we definitely want everything in front. For example, <laughs> That's the exact issue that may happen to you if you are not looking at the manual and just routing it on your own. And there we have it. It's in front of all of the other components and it is now routed through the blue rear facing belt path. And once you've completed that, you can reassemble the cover and then you have the lower latch attachment ready to attach to the lower latch anchor in your vehicle. And that's just a simple connection of that latch attachment. And then you are ready to install the Graco Forever in rear facing mode according to the instruction manual. Once you have installed the Graco Forever rear facing using the lower latch system attachments, one handy feature is that there's a nice slot in the front of the seat that comes right through the cover. So without having to remove the cover, you can pass the adjustment strap for the latch system through that slot and get better leverage by pulling on that strap coming through the car seat rather than pulling it outward toward you where you wouldn't have quite as much leverage if you were pulling it outward. That way you route it through that slot to tighten. And once it is tight, you double check on the handy bubble level indicator. You can see that we are in the blue zone where the bubble is, so we're good to go for a rear facing infant. You make sure that the recline angle is within uh, one of the rear facing one number one, two, or three adjustments for recline. Uh, we are in the most recline mode as we are using our seven pound newborn doll from Huggable Images. And we are going to show you a demonstration of getting that doll properly into the Graco Forever. This model is very nice because it will adjust well for a newborn size doll. It is rated down to four pounds, but uh, depending on the proportions of the child, uh, may or may not work well for a four pound preemie, but for a full size newborn, it should provide a pretty good fit for most babies and it is adjustable great height limits for older rear-facing children and forward-facing and booster mode children as well. And there you can see we have uh, moved those harness comfort pads back to give access to the chest clip to move it up to armpit level. And we are also using the included insert support. And if you are using that insert support, um, you may only use it rear-facing. And if you are using the head support as well, you must use it along with the torso support. And that gives a little bit fills up some of the room around the smaller babies and newborns. But there it is, a nice installation and a nice fit on our newborn doll for the Graco Forever all-in-one car seat at Car Seat Blog.